I love the way the First Gen Lounge makes me feel. Because it creates a space where I belong, where we're able to create community. The fact that it's a community. It's a safe place. It also gives me a place to understand different perspectives. The stories of these individuals prescribe transformational perspective. I receive encouragement, enlightenment, empowerment. And also serve as a catalyst to just keep going. Where we're able to be our true selves. I'm allowed to be an unapologetic first gen. And above all else, tell our story. And every episode is unique. I love it. I'm your host, Dr. Eve, and I'd like to welcome you to the First Gen Lounge. Good morning and great day. And if you are new here, hey, hey, hey. Whew, y'all, what a time, what a time. I almost hit you with history notes this week, but, 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 I had a moment, or maybe a few, that led to a moment or two, um, <laughs> you know how I do around here, so just let me have it, okay, all the bars. But I found myself saying, I have got to share this with y'all. I gotta share this with y'all, got to. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what I want to tell you, to remind you of, is to pay attention to the signs. One more again, pay attention to the signs. If there's something that you have been in your head about, in your heart about, whatever you've been in about, if you've been praying, if you've been meditating, trying to manifest, whatever it is, if you have been seeking answers to something or some things, I want to encourage you to pay attention to the signs. The signs won't always be things that are dramatic or grand or out of this world, it won't always be something that's big. Sometimes the answers to the questions that we have, that we are in need of, right, are subtle things that are happening all the time, but we're so caught up in looking for something that's just robust and all oh, that was so profound that we miss the, the miniature profound moments that are, I mean, they're profound, but we're looking for something great when Sometimes great is just so subtle, right? It's sometimes getting in your car, hooking up your phone, turning on your Sirius XM or whatever it is that you do when you're in your car for music. And it's hearing a song that's responding to something that you've been thinking and feeling and wondering, right? Sometimes it's having a conversation with somebody who doesn't know anything about what you got going on, but they say something that resonates. Sometimes a sign is you just happened to be somewhere and you saw a magazine cover and there was a headline or somebody hit you up about a book that they read. Or sometimes it's opening up your social media app and you see something like, damn, that hits, right? Sometimes a sign is having a memory come to you. It's having something just that you see that reminds you of something that triggers a thought, that triggers a feeling, that brings you a moment of clarity or peace or understanding. Signs are all around us. Sometimes it's being outside and it's it's walking and you're on a path and you see an animal and the animal does something, or maybe it's even your own animal and your animal does something that's kind of like, wait a minute. It's They're all around us. The thing when it comes to paying attention to signs, notice I said pay attention because we ask for answers, we want answers, we desire answers, but are we really looking for the answers in life? That's why you gotta pay attention. You have to be intentional in the answers that you seek. Cause sometimes we sit up and I'm guilty and we say, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? Why you keep waiting? You should be actively participating and getting the answers that you so seek by paying attention to what life is trying to tell you. Sometimes life is showing you signs because you keep getting frustrated with something. Sometimes life is trying to show you signs because you can't sleep at night. Sometimes life is trying to show you signs because you had $10,000, then all of a sudden you had $5,000, don't know where it went. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there are things, you be like, wait a minute now, 
this wasn't supposed to happen. There are a lot of things that aren't supposed to happen, but even think about the things that you thought were gonna happen that didn't happen, that did happen, and you wondering how and why and where and what, right? Is there a message or a sign or there is something in that that you're supposed to get from it? Because so often we live and we just live and we're living, but are we paying attention to what's happening while we're living? I'm someone who historically, and still I do, take time to reflect on the things that are currently happening, be it that I'm looking at the flowers and how they're growing or how they did or didn't bud, or if I'm looking at the trees and seeing how the leaves did or didn't come in, or if I see a bird sitting somewhere that's like, hmm, that's an interesting space. Sometimes it's looking at the sky at night and noticing how how light it is or how dark it is, and if I can see the stars, if, I've, if it rained that day, all of life is connected. All of life is connected, right? We are all connected. And what we need is always finding us. The problem is that we're not always looking. It is important to be intentional in the creation of your life. It is important to be intentional in how you choose to write the story of your life but more importantly, in doing that and finding the answers that you need to make important decisions for yourself, for who you are supposed to become, for all that you will be. It could all be so simple. <laughs> okay, did I do that? I did. It could all be so simple, right? But we really rather make it hard. She knew what she was talking about. Come on now, L Boogie. But really, it could be. But more than importantly, we talked about trust a few episodes ago. And my question to you is while you're looking for the answers for those things that are again in your head and your heart, wherever those 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 things that are within you, whether wherever they lie, are you trusting what you're getting? Are you trusting that you are receiving? the signs, the messages, whatever it is that's coming to you, or are you resisting it because it's not what you want to hear, even if you've asked for the answer? Are you being honest with yourself about the things that you see going on around you? Or is it easier to, again, reject and resist the things that keep happening a lot of times over and over and over again because it just can't be. Because sometimes life will give us signs. Sometimes it's that supervisor who keeps doing the same thing. Sometimes it's that coworker who you know, you know that they know, but they still act like they don't know, right? Sometimes it's trying to book a flight somewhere and for whatever reason, it just keeps not working out. Are you paying attention? Or are you trying so hard to make it work honestly the way you think it should work? Whatever that thing is, I want to an answer, but I want it to go my way. It don't work like that. If you want to an answer for something, you have to be open to the fact that it may not be what you want it to be. How you want it to be may not be none of that, but it is what it is. And it being is what it is. It is the truth in what it, in what it is and however it is. Are you accepting that? Are you going to lean into the fact that, well, this didn't look like what I hoped it was going to look like, but I understand that this is the path. I think I put something up the other day um, on my social media that was a reference to the matrix that my brother had shared with me. And my brother is someone who's constantly dropping gems and knowledge. And there are so many things that I've even gotten from him in my life. I'm like, dang, we just pay attention to the signs. And here came a book and he saw something and shared something or, you know, he was mentioning something about something that he was doing. I'm like, damn, that's a message in that for me. But one day he was like, you should check out the Matrix, his favorite movie. And I'm like, that's not even my genre, <laughs> right? But as he quoted more things that the guy Morpheus talked about, something he said, you know, it's one thing to know the path and it's another thing to walk the path, right? I know that's not exactly how he said it. You can go look up that quote yourself. But my point is, it is, of course, one thing to know the path, another thing to to walk the path. When we get answers to things, whatever way that comes, maybe that person ain't call you back, right? 
Maybe somebody's going to send you money and they didn't, right? Maybe you didn't get accepted into that program. The things are happening because we get so fixated on it. We know this wasn't supposed to happen, but we don't move accordingly because that ain't what we want. But if you pay attention to the signs, you can save yourself a lot of time, money, tears, frustration, disappointment, whatever it is that you are experiencing or suffering through because of not wanting to lean into or look for the signs and embrace them, it ends up being on you. Just like things have been like that for me. Let's just be honest. In my life, there have been times where I'm like, even those gut feelings, ooh, y'all know a gut feeling is a gut feeling. I'm like, ah, but I don't know, but I don't know. But you know, you just don't want to know. And that's okay. That's your right. You can do what you want because that's your prerogative. But really, lean in, pay attention. Be intentional. I've said that before, but your life is yours and your life is beautiful. And what you're looking for, it's already there. It's already there. Whatever answers you're looking for, they're already there. But you're gonna have to pay attention to the signs that's coming. The subtle ones, not just the ones that are loud and clear. The subtle ones are the ones that are truly moving and shifting you and showing up and being kind to you. Don't let it get rough or overwhelming or too much before you lean in to what you're supposed to be doing. Be it that it's something that's good and you should have been doing it which is hopefully, you know, that's more so the case and something that is tragic that's happening because you avoided doing something, you know, differently when you knew, when you had a feeling, when you saw or felt something. This is just your little reminder. But know that round here, you are loved. Know round here that spending time with you and sharing space and just being able to show up is one of my greatest joys. And it is my hope for you my hope for you that you continue to trust yourself, trust this journey, and know that you absolutely got this shit. Because you are you, and can't nobody do you better than you, boo. That's just what it is. <laughs> but on that note, be good to yourself and to those around you. Most importantly, I want you to keep, 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 keep pressing forward. All right, I'm out. Peace.